Happy Saturday. Oh, man. Looks like it's pretty nice outside. Uh, it's been rainy here for the last few days, so that's nice. Got that going for us. Um, I'm just here for a few more days in Columbus, Ohio. It's been wonderful and enriching and enlightening and heart opening. Um, I don't know if I had any expectations about this particular trip, but it's, it's exceeded any kind of expectation or connection that I thought I'd have if I had any. Um, the people that I've met over the last couple of weeks are just incredible. All walks of life. Locals, uh, immigrants, refugees, um, SIVs, I, I just, and their stories have been inspiring and, uh, and heart opening. And everybody's, you know, when you boil down everyone's story, I see a common, you know, I see maybe it's just my, um, my outlook but I see like a common thread that's a that's a, that's a, a thread of like hope not one of um, fear and everybody has the same desires you know to be secure and uh, and see a future that, that they can build upon we're all so similar and it just it seems more convenient at most times to point a finger at somebody else. I think it's certainly more courageous and challenging to, to, to open your heart to the similarities, to make a connection. Taking a defensive position I don't know if it's easier, but it's certainly, you don't, in a sense, risk as much. But the risk is the reward, in my opinion. If you risk being vulnerable, the reward is you have connection, and then you don't feel alone, and the community supports you. So ultimately, the risk of being exposed is really the payoff of being connected. That's how I see it. I always feel stronger the more times that I walk through the fire of, you know, availing my vulnerability to somebody. And it's terrifying in the beginning, and then I feel empowered moments in, or at least towards the middle of that journey of revealing how I feel. And, yeah, I don't know. Saturday. Grateful. This moment. Breathe. Much love.